While I have covered many unique and very rare games on the channel so far, there is yet even more to discover, and more predominantly with games that were seen in Japan. PlayStation, as we know, is home to an absolute plethora of stunning, mediocre, and maybe not so good, but at the same time, very rare and obscure titles. Like, in hindsight, the PlayStation has thousands of video games across its vast catalogue that's on offer. And in Japan alone, there's a ridiculous amount of games that we either seen in magazines or we seen in previews back in the day but never really got access to them but now with the internet and modern technology we have the ability to not only play these games but we can buy physical copies of them through the likes of ebay and so forth now some of them will demand high prices not all of them can you play through emulation yet so in some cases you still will have to buy a physical copy if you can manage to find it for a reasonable price but if you do they're worth holding on to because they are going to be valuable in the future but in saying that there are many other games across a variety of different genres that really contribute to the evolution of the console and to help solidify it as being primarily the dominant console of the 90s era and early 2000s and you can have anything from the likes of racing games sports games rpg games even horror games like especially in japan there's so many cool games that were developed just for that region alone that we never got to experience over here in the uk ireland europe and so forth and back then it was a shame that many of these games never got to see the light of day but it, like I said with modern technology at least now we can do that to some degree so now is the perfect time to explore a lot of these games so that is my goal even just for here on the channel and even to showcase many of these ideas to you guys to hopefully inspire you or to even let you know of some of these games that you may not have even heard of before so that you can go and play them for yourselves because there's many of these games on the system while some of them are questionable but I still think that the worth a go at least or a revisit just to experience the nostalgia and even just to gain a new experience that you possibly may never have witnessed before so for that reason alone it's definitely a good time to go back to play the playstation in all its glory so in this video i just want to have a look at another very unique game that is very very rare not many would have heard of it and for myself personally i only ever witnessed it in a magazine article or preview way back when i was 16 this is back in 1998 i know i'm showing my age but sure there you go but at the same same time I was always interested by it I was always intrigued by it and when I first started this channel it was one of the very few games that I couldn't really remember but I always wanted to dive into it to see if I could figure out what it was and through a lot of research and trying to figure out stuff and especially now with everything that's online we did manage to find it and it, this game goes by the name of Deep Freeze so then it was kind of like a light bulb moment for me I was kind of like ah I found it finally because I remember going back to that time when I seen it in a magazine and I remember specifically that uh, the words that were said with the game saying that deep freeze and they didn't they didn't really regard it too highly they said it looked cool but they said it was a resident evil clone but it wasn't as well put together as they say but it's one of those games in my own personal opinion you have to experience for yourself you can make your own assumption or judgment on it once you've played it and i do recommend that you do play it so deep freeze itself was released in japan in 1999 for the playstation and it's a third person action adventure shooter but what's more noticeable about this is the fact is that it uses elements almost identical to the earlier Resident Evil games. Essentially, this is a Resident Evil clone, but it just doesn't have any survival horror in it. It's got more of an action-focused kind of vibe. It even puts you in mind of another game that was also released on the PlayStation that I have covered on a previous video known as Hard Edge or Trag, as that is also another clone that takes many elements and concepts from the Resident Evil games with the use of pre-rendered backgrounds, fixed cameras, and just a very similar play style in terms of the gameplay mechanics and control systems but removes the survival horror elements so there's no monsters or zombies as such but you do have puzzle solving and you do have other different elements that would definitely relate to those type of games but deep freeze is very similar to hard age in terms of its story and backdrop because like in hard age deep freeze also utilizes the elements of a terrorist attack inside of a multi-story skyscraper style building where terrorists invade and take over the whole infrastructure so then it's led to a task force in order to infiltrate and to stop and eliminate or incapacitate the known threat which leads to different types of consequences that determining many outcomes with regard to certain choices or interactions that you make throughout play so deep freeze is very like hard age in that respect it almost has kind of like a die hard kind of aesthetic when we look back and i mentioned in that 
that other video with the likes of the Nakatomi Plaza and it's up to John McClane, Bruce Willis's character to stop the impending threat within that building so these games definitely take a lot of influence not just from Resident Evil but also from the Die Hard movie franchise as well as again they're so iconic in their own right so it's easy to see why they tried to adapt all these elements into these games but even regardless of what previews of the game would have looked like upon its release the game did receive favourable reviews in the magazines many stating it to be a fairly decent clone now with the main character of the game that you pick you can pick an accomplice to work with you and each accomplice has different traits or abilities in terms of weapons some can be used as a medic while others can use like more close range quarters combat weapons like with stronger weapons such as shotguns while others can use machine guns or even knife or physical martial arts style combat it really depends on your own play style the thing is the game is kind of tough to get used to because you can use a variety of different weapons but the control system is very different compared to that of your typical resident evil style games so you will have to adjust your play style and it will take a little while to adjust to the whole context of the control system in the game but the cool aspect about it is the fact is that it uses elements from earlier survival horror games with likes of resident evil as fixed cameras great use of lighting and various type of elements while some of the areas in the game can come across as being a bit similar and can kind of throw you off but the general context of the environments the camera angles and where enemies can appear from definitely can give you can definitely provide a challenge and experience let's just put it that way because the game does start off relatively easy but it does gradually increase later on especially when you start encountering stronger enemy types and even bosses they can definitely deal a lot of damage and the truth is as well is you have to be aware of also your partner's health at the same time because if they're taken out of the equation or if they're killed you're left on your own which makes the game even harder again and you also have to contend with areas that you re-explore to solve puzzles or to unlock other areas that enemies sometimes can reappear which can also throw you off because sometimes you wouldn't expect it and that's where they can do a severe amount of damage to you so while this game was released in 1999 originally it was later added to the super light or super simple 1500 budget line series of games it was also very popular in japan which gave the game a more affordable approach to people that couldn't spend big money on games so it does have some really unique features especially with the weapon types like you can throw grenades you can use healing items you have access to shotguns pistols machine guns and other types of stronger weapons as well that you can use to dispatch enemies but you also have different objectives where you have to complete various types of puzzles and interact with different characters to acquire items again to unlock other areas in the game as well so there is a lot of really cool features in this game and while it's not the best of the resident evil style clones the fact is that it's similar to those games and if you do enjoy them it's definitely worth a playthrough there's definitely a lot of cool elements in this game but in saying that it's like typical playstation fashion with these type of experimental elements while it does have some cool features the acting in the game like resident evil and other games similar to it the acting is terrible <laughs> that's the one thing i would say the acting is just yeah it's laughable in many cases but at the same time it does tell the story which is exactly what you want so you will have a lot of fun with it yes it's challenging and especially later on in the game the enemies get tougher but the puzzles also get tougher as well sometimes to figure out and to solve puzzles it isn't as apparent on your first attempt than you would actually think you will have to do a bit of exploring and do a bit of digging to figure out stuff and sometimes stuff is a lot easier but it's just not as apparent when you see it the first time so it will take you a few tries in order to get used to it the very fact is as well it does have japanese dialogue which can be troublesome for some people to try and figure out the game does have english speaking dialogue so at least it will make it more approachable for other audiences outside of japan so that people can understand the context of the story if you can mind the voice acting that is but at least you'll be able to get some idea of the story but from having spent time playing it it is a good solid game it's a good resident evil clone in all respects to it while it's not the best of these type of games that are out there it's definitely a good worthwhile experience and for me personally i would definitely recommend it because i love these style of games in my own personal opinion anything that's like resident evil or the older resident evil games anything with fixed camera perspectives camera angles pre-rendered backgrounds i love those style of games and back in the day when i was a young 16 year old constantly reading my magazines i couldn't wait to get my hands on stuff like this but again there were certain games like this that had eluded me that i didn't get to play but now 
I can and say we can as gamers now. So the way I see it is why not play it? Now is the opportunity. The opportunities are there. We have access to these games now. So try them and see what you think for yourself. Not the best game on the system but it has enough unique and quirky elements that will warrant a few playthroughs. And if you're a fan of old school Resident Evil style games this is another one that you can definitely add to your list for sure to try out. Definitely has enough unique quirks on it that will warrant a good few playthroughs in all respects to it. And I would love to know your thoughts on Deep Freeze. If you have managed to play it yourself or is it one of those games that you've yet to play or that you even know that even existed or are you interested in playing the game i'd love to hear whatever stories you do have of it so be sure to share it down in the comments below and if you would like to see more content around other types of unique and quirky games similar to this that were also released on the playstation then you can make sure to leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to be updated for future videos and if you would like to see other types of content that i've also created on the channel similar to this then you can check out the playlist on screen to see more of those games in action and as always keep those gaming memories alive.